guys, it's Arlo from the Adventures of Arlo um, YouTube channel here, and we're back here with another video. It's been a hot minute, it really has. Um, well, it that's just because since my last video, there's been a lot of stuff happening with my school and stuff, and now it's summertime, so I've finished school for the summer, and that usually would mean more content, right? But I'm very busy this summer, so... Um, yeah there will be content more frequently obviously but you know holiday in that maybe i'll i'll make one on when i'm on holiday we'll just we'll just have to see but anyway here i am i know you missed me so judging by the title of this video whatever that may be since i don't know it but you can assume what is happening here today is going to be kind of random um it's just going to be random. It's going to be random stuff happening because I, I kind of see this as like a chill one where I'm just like, come on, I'm chilling with you. I'm telling you guys everything that you didn't know already. And um, it was exciting uh, interview with Small Biz Buzz Magazine on Instagram and I'll put that at Maybe I'll just link their website down below so you can access all of their social media and stuff that they have available for you, including their issues to their um, magazine. Um, and yeah, so I originally wanted to do that as one of my podcast episode, which is also coming out like at the same time as this, around about the same day. Um, but it just wasn't working with me. The format wasn't working with me. So this is just going to have to be uploaded as a, a segment in this video and hopefully this video isn't very long because that should take up most of the video right but we'll see i have a very weird track of all my other videos so anyway here in the uk we just had a heat wave um it's, it's going away now we're, we're turning to normal temperature and it's raining again so this feels like the uk um but yeah uh, before we get into the actual video and I stop ranting about things that are relevant, um, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment down below if you can. I'm not actually sure if you can. But if you can leave a comment down below, just, you know, say hi, check in, you know. And check out my uh, website, which as always is going to be linked in the description box down below. And that has all the links to my s social media my small business, my Etsy, which is linked to my small business, and all that stuff. It also has a link to my podcast. If you haven't listened to my podcast, then here's a perfect opportunity for you to listen to my podcast. But yeah, as always, everything is basically linked down below in my in my website. Like, that's always been the case. But yeah, just in case you didn't know. And just get ready for some more wackiness, because i'm just not that interesting of a person so i have to pretend to be interesting so we'll see how that goes but anyway let's get on to the actual video now so i thought it would be good to do some random assortment of stuff um first of all i have some pretty exciting news that doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with my youtube channel or my podcast or my business for that matter it, it's it's more of a like a general thing and i guess it does have something to do with my podcast and youtube channel it's like another form of media so you know how i said i was doing an interview with small biz buzz magazine well i am going to be releasing my own magazine um and so i have this account that i originally posted as my blog account which is called Arlo's Scooped Up Stories. Um, and yeah, it was going to be a blog. Uh, since making it, I have not posted one blog. And I think the reason is, is because whenever I sit down to write, I don't write. And then there are never times where I write. So basically, the blog wasn't working out for me. Like, I haven't posted anything. And I think I made it like three months ago now. Something like that. Something ridiculous like that. And, you know, I'm not feeling the vibe of it. So I decided, well, Arlo Scooped Up Stories still sounds like something that can be used in a magazine. I hadn't posted any posts on it anyway. It was just an Instagram account with two posts with my logo on it that I made, which I'm very proud of. 
So, I'm going to be making a magazine um, to be confirmed if it's going to be a weekly one or like a fortnightly one or like a monthly one. Most likely answer would be it'd be monthly because I don't have the capacity in my life with my small business and my podcast and my YouTube channel to produce it, you know, to produce it every week. I'm not a very, I'm not a very organised person when it comes to schedules and deadlines. So saying that it's going to be once a month probably needs to be once a month. Otherwise it won't happen regularly. I'm hoping it will happen regularly if I make it like this. I forgot, so I need to do something. And I forgot to do it. I need to do loads of stuff. Like guys, I have loads of stuff to do. And somehow this came first in my priority list. Like, I have like a million things to do. This is what came first. So that's like my big news. Basically, Arlo Scoop Doll Stories is becoming a magazine. Um, to be also confirmed what the hell it's going to be about. But all I know is I wanted to make the magazine. I actually did want to make a magazine before. And then people started posting magazines. So I was like, I'm not going to do it now. Because then everyone's going to be like, oh, you're copying me, Arlo. How dare you copy me? And my idea, and I'm like, I think loads of people are making magazines now. I think it's just the trend, on Instagram at least. But, you know, I'm just, I wanted to make it. I'm not doing it, like, I'm not, it wasn't because someone did it. I was like, oh, I have to do that now to level up with them. It was something I wanted to do. Dog, shut up, I'm trying to film a video here, mate. Okay, sorry, just shouting at random dog. You can't even probably hear the dog, but I can hear him, and he's being very annoying. And I'm issuing his gender. But anyway, yeah, I'm making a magazine. So that's fun. Um, anyway, that was like this very small announcement that seems to be dragged on for like three minutes. But you know, it's fun, it's fine. Okay, so for the next part of my video, very random, but for you fear your for all you theatre kids out there, you might find this one enjoyable. So let me just you're not gone. I'm still here. You're just shuffling over a bit so I can reach over and you can watch me do this really weird angle that doesn't need to be done. Ugh. Move my brush out of the way. Basically, I'm doing a musical theatre haul of everything I have, to my knowledge, of that is related to musical theatre, at least, or musicals, or like any musical stuff. So yeah, I kind of just have a pile over here that you can't see, but if you were me, you could see. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start showing you guys random stuff that you didn't ask to see. And it's gonna be a very fun experience, isn't it? Um, I guess we'll start, we'll, we'll go in categories of stuff. I think that's the way to do it. I think that's the way we're gonna have to do this. It's not categories of like musicals or anything it's just categories of stuff because there is like groups of stuff you could say you could say there are groups of stuff okay i guess we'll start with the the the, the programs slash other stuff book stuff so truthfully there isn't a lot of musicals that i've been to um i mean i don't know what you define as a lot but i've been to one two four I've been to, f no, I've been to more than four. I've been to, like, six. But four that I have programmes for. And if you count Ava Voyage as, like, a musical thing, which it really isn't, but it just has something to do with musicals because it's music. I counted it as a musical because, obviously, it's, re it's relevant to Mamma Mia and stuff. That's, like, seven. And then the one that I did myself that I have a programme for, that's eight my school but it doesn't count basically i've only been to six and then i've been to abba voyage and then i've been to my own no i haven't i've performed in my own but basically essentially hit this is i have abba voyage even though it's not a musical just don't judge me okay so first off we're going to start with what do you think this is um if you don't know it's had this this might help you a bit more in knowing what it is. But anyway, basically, here are my programs. 
this is probably one of the biggest ones I have. Um, it's more, it's bigger than my head, so that's a sign it's really big. Um, it still smells new, and that's why it, I'm keeping it close to my face. I know it's weird. Anyway, um, I always do get programs whenever now because I went to a few when I was like, younger and that's why I don't have programs with them because either like too expensive and I was like four like six I don't care about programs when I'm six they just look like pieces of paper to me anyway you would have seen this one because the last video was my vlogging experience of Heather's the musical where I explained to you and I took you through the whole program thing but also I did show you that I got um it cast by signed by all the cast members I can say it got cast by all the signed members because uh, that's just my vocabulary range so yeah um not much to go on this is an information and then we'll recap on some of my nice pages this is my favorite page in the whole entire book and I really do love programs and it's all because of these where it's scenes and pictures and stuff that I like to look at like pictures of um pictures of the scenes and stuff is really fun to look at and all the while looking and smelling nice um and then in this one specifically they did have a 1985 nine, nine not five don't listen to me but yeah I really liked this. It was different. It was not something I was expecting them to do. They just did a whole page on the 1899. 18, no, 1989. I can't say anything, I swear. Anyway, this is Heather's program out of one of several programs. Next up, the program I have is six. Um, it's actually the smallest program I have. Um, it's also the most inaccurate one I have. Um, I don't know what happened, but they have the wrong people as the queens. Unless I'm just seeing this now and not knowing the actors' names. But I'm pretty sure they had the wrong sick, the queens. Maybe they had the right queens, but then the wrong queens in pictures. Do I recognise you, but I don't recognise who you are. The pictures, the pictures of the only inaccuracy thing, which is actually the same in the most. I don't even know if the, yeah, sorry, they're not inaccurate, I take that back. Um, but yeah, it's just, I didn't see any, I, I guess what I thought was, I didn't see any pictures with my people in it, like, all together. I mean. So, you know, I like this one, it's, it's very small, but very small but i do it's it's a program what more do i want from a, mo a pro a program so yeah it was it was a, it's a nice one it has all the information on it and it has her story history her story on it um which i haven't actually read but it's a good history book it's Honestly, this program, there's nothing wrong with it. At first, I thought it was bad because it didn't show my queens. And then I realised that I didn't even know the name of the queens. So there's no point judging the program without looking. And then this is the back. Um, it's made by NIMAX Theatres. Um, like a lot of things are. Um, but yeah, that was my sixth program. Next up is my ABBA Voyage book. It's not a... It's not a musical in any way, shape or form. The only thing is, is it sings songs from a musical. So technically I'm including it as a part of my musical thing because I need more things here. Now this is something I went to really recently and you can just admire the pages. Um, it was a really cool thing. It was a very cool thing but there's not like it's not the same the thing i really like is this paper and that's that's i went to have voyage it basically felt like a musical but it's not a musical it really isn't and i don't know why it felt like a musical because it didn't but i included it because it's a program you know and it has some relevance to musicals in some way 
And yeah, so that's our voyage. Okay, next one, Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dream Coat. I'm not going to pick that up for you until we have a program behind it. This got a bit bent because recently I went to York on a choir trip. I just realised this is the rainbow. How did I just realise that? <laughs> I guess it's just weird. Anyway, so this got a bit bent in my suitcase coming back from York. It was a really fun trip, honestly, thanks to my school. Um, and so here we have, this is probably one of my favourites. Um, and then you have this little book that also got ruined by the floor. <laughs> Uh, this is basically the sixth one, as in it's the information one. It has the, the people. And this had Jason Donovan as the pharaoh. And Jason Donovan was the original Joseph. Um, he's one of the main roles. But this was fun because it, it has the same thing as the Heather's one. And like most things do, it has some of the famous seats. And I just really liked it. Um, and obviously, n now it's my pledging thing to whenever I go to a musical, I have to buy a programme at least. And then I buy more things if I want. If I don't want. I want to show you my favourite page. This is my favourite page. Not because it's Jason Donovan, guys. I'm not obsessed with him. It's because this, this was my favourite scene. And because you know how it's by Andrew... Lloyd weather. I spotted some little Easter eggs. So obviously he made cats, so you can see a cat in the background somewhere. And you can also see a uh, Phantom of the Opera mask. So there were little like hints to you know Andrew Law Weather and I thought that was really good staging and I really like this. It is it's just the same as most programmes, there's nothing special about it. I do like the logo though, it's very nice. It's a rainbow. And the back of it is very funny, so it's a camel. I find that really funny. I don't know why. I'm crazy. Anyway. Last program of thinking I've seen. And then we've got books. We've got books, guys. Anyway. So, this is Wicked the Musical program. It's a wicked program. No pun intended. Pun ever intended. Um, looking back at this. This is probably the biggest book I have. Um, this is the t the ticket. You can't steal it from me. Um, and so it's a, it's a past performance. Anyway, this is really big. And I like every single page as well in this one. And they do a little thing at the front where they have separate photos and then they have big photos. So you got the, the two people that were Alpha Burrow and um, Glinda in this. And then you got the crew and the creative team and all that. All the fun stuff. Everyone loves a creative crew. They have more people. And then they have songs, which I thought was cool because I don't think any other of my programs have the songs in it. Um, but then we move on to the more people. So as you can see, this is following the trend of a normal program. <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Trying to get to the scenes. Okay, so this is the Defying Gravity one. Spoiler alert, guys. Um, but yeah, this takes you through all of the, like, the songs, basically. I'm going to say all the songs. It's not all the songs. And then they have a little history book. But they have a lot of the songs. And so... It's just... It's just fun to look at all the scenes and stuff. I especially like this one. Anyway, it's the Wicked program. It just has loads of scenes and stuff and the characters and cast from Wicked if you didn't know that about programs. Okay, so these are different. This is a program. In fact, it is a program. But it's a bit different because it's a program from my show. Well, it's not my show, but it's a show I was in. So I'm calling it my show. Oh, wait, I forgot to put the ticket back in. Sorry. <clears throat> Anyway, so if I'm supposed to be hiding the logo, then that's already gone out the window. But basically, I was in Matilda Jr. along with my friend, um, which was a part of the British Theatre Academy productions. They do. Um, this was like a three, a, th a free, a free, 
a free um like thing that they did like a it's basically like a 30 day free trial except it's not 30 days it's like it's a free course basically it's a course for free um and so oh wait i should do location shiza i'm not really good at this am i anyway british fitzer academy matilda jr program it's the same as most programs except it's not actually really not that same instead of having pictures from the actual performance they have pictures of the people and from the, the rehearsals so obviously i'm not going to show you the inside because this has a fuck ton of people in it and i don't think i would be very civil of me to share with other people's names and stuff i can show you me though because i don't care about me okay, th I, this is harder than i thought no you're gonna see like 500 people but like i'm here bye i don't want to show any more people anyway this was a program and it's my program and it's from my show so that's just something i just think in there this is also from my show but it's a script so i can show you this because this is a script um it used to have loads of little post-it notes on it uh i took them all off but this is they're all still here oh i just bended them i didn't take them off i just bended them down most of them anyway so yeah this is the script as you can see you have my name on it and then you have what i am i'm an ensemble ensemble um and you can see all of these little these little like notes on the side of it and to you that wouldn't make any sense at all but to me they did make sense and you've got that and then that and then you've just got all the songs like this with the little music bars so you can know how to sing them and then <coughs> oh, i'm really bad at this <coughs> i can't stop coughing and then you've got the back where loads of people lo loads hundreds of people will sign the back of my book basically all cast members but yeah this is my actor's script i was in it guys i was in it and then like honestly it was a painful experience but it's what you do for theater so we're just gonna like slip by that and move on to the next session i'm aware i spent nearly like 16 minutes talking about programs and i'm not ashamed about it okay next up is Earrings, pins, stickers, and what have yous. Badges. Oh no, pins and badges. I don't know. <clears throat> and that stuff. Oh, and scrunchy. Can't forget scrunchy. Basically, merchandise that isn't paper. To an extent, that isn't paper. Okay, so first up. I'll start with the stickers because they're right here. Um, so I kind of stuck them to my Chromebook. So this is going to be fun trying to show you stickers from my Chromebook. Most of this stuff is now from small businesses, except from two things. No, three things. There we go. Got it. Okay. So first up. One of the main people I buy from in musical theatre is Handmade Broadway. So shout out to her. I'll link her website down below as well. So this is from Handmade Broadway. So the sticker which has the business on it is obviously from her. And then you've got um, Kinky Boots character here. And that's, yeah. And then you got two st other stickers. you got another Handmade Broadway sticker here. A smaller one and then you got something else from her all that jazz oh my gosh spoiler alert guys you can see all my jazz uh all that jazz uh and yeah that's something else i got and then this is my favorite one um i can't talk right now i'm listening to musicals you can't actually see the full thing of that but it's there in spirit you know it's there and that goes with the stickers very fun and eventful way to show you the stickers. Now let's move on to key rings because that's basically most of the stuff I have is key rings. Where did you get to? 
Luckily, I can show you the same thing again if you want it. I said I was going to show you key rings, and now I'm just playing with pins and badges. And this, they're the exact same thing. Okay, let's show you the key rings now. Before it gets too late. Okay, first up, I've got this Matilda key ring. Um, I got it from this business called Resin I Love You, and on my small business account, I do have a review of this Resin I Love You. Um, and I think it's really cool. It's like a little play card, and it's got the thing on it. And the back is gorgeous as well. Um, and it's very nice. And I ordered it after I finished my Matilda Junior production, so I could have a, like a token. <coughs> I can't breathe. <coughs> Memorabilia. That wasn't merchandise from their store. So yeah, I got this. And it's it's for my love of Matilda. Very like sacrifice love of Matilda. But yes, I just dropped it. Uh but yes, it's just a Matilda play thing. I can't speak, I swear. Okay, next up. Me trying to find them. The rest of them are on my keys. You think it would be easier for me to just take them off my keys? No, I'm making it harder for myself here, guys. We have to... Oh, my leg. We have to show you it on my keys to make everything a lot easier. Oh, wait, here's another thing that's not from the business. This is from Matilda, when I went to Matilda. I didn't buy a uh, program for that one, did I? No, I didn't. But anyway, Matilda. And on the back, it used to say, sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. But since putting it on my key ring... My keys, not my key ring. Since putting it on my keys, it's scratched off. So isn't that fun? Next up, as I said, this is not really a musical at all, but it's Abba Voyage. So we're gonna like rub it in your face. Like, Abba did like Mamma Mia, so you know, musical. Next up is this that I got from my friend Millie, resin by Millie. Um you could be like, oh this is Matilda. It's not Matilda, but um I can see why you get confused. This is Heather's key ring. Um, it is Veronica Sawyer from Heather's, so that's why it's blue. And it's got little glitter in it, and it's really cute and gorgeous. And I definitely recommend you can check this out. Um, you can get one of your own. You can get any musical, I think. Um, but yeah, I'll also link Millie's info down below. And then you've got Heather's. This is from Handmade Broadway. Heather's the musical key ring, which I love the tassel of. Very cool. <coughs> and lastly, we've got a Les Mis that has now been scratched. Yeah, okay. Um, Les Mis uh, key ring with the prison number on it, which is also like the Heather's one. But yeah, there it is. That's all of my key rings. It's, very, it's been a very long and tedious process. Okay, now let's move on to scrunchies. Slash scrunchy. This one I got from Heather's. It's Ch uh, Heather Chandler. Scrunchy. I'm going to musical con in October. And my cosplay is Heather Chandler. And as I found out as well, like half the population going there is going to be dressing up as Heather Chandler. So it's not unique. It's just convenient. So here we go, got my Heather Chandler scrunchie, Chandler, Chandler, I don't know, being British is confusing, but yeah, got Heather Chandler. Okay, next up, pins, because it's literally the only thing left, so, wait, no, it isn't, sorry, you guys, I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, first up, we got six, the musical pin from the designer the costume design Gabriella Nade costume designer uh, this is Anne of Cleves so it says Cleves pin um, but uh, my favourite queen is Anne of Cleves so obviously you had to get the one that was my favourite and I absolutely love it it's so pretty and I wish I could dress up like this for musical con but I don't have that kind of money guys um but yeah it's really really cool and it's really sparkly and i really think that all of the pins for all of the queens were really nice 
but obviously since it was my favourite one, you can't miss up on the opportunity to have that. If this can bloody go in, this is going to take like half the time, me trying to put a pin back into a bloody package that doesn't need to be in the package, but somehow it does. Oh my gosh, I must have eaten like Weetabix or something. I could not stop needing to cough. Ooh, the bathroom door slammed. Is it the dog? No, okay, so there we go. We got it back in the packet. That was the bathroom door. I think that was the bathroom door. Bathroom door. Sorry, excuse me. Um... We think there's a killer in the house and somehow I just locked off my filter that I'm actually filming a video right now. And she didn't know I was filming a video either. That was really bad video manship. Oh, there's a cat on the shed. Oh, cat. I am just... Unbelievably stupid, aren't I? Um, but anyway, next up, Kim Badge is also no, it's not also from Hanley Broadway. it's from Hanley Broadway and it says the plan is to uh to spark this no so the plan is to fan this spark into a flame which is from Hamilton absolutely love it there you go that's a better way to hold it you can see it happy times the other one is the the sticker that I said I couldn't show you I can now show you in form of pin can't talk right now i'm listening to musicals and i love it that's from Hamlet broadway and last in the pin section we have um joseph and the amazing technical dream coat baddies that i got so you got any dream will do a coat of many colors the, the logo and go 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 joseph go. yeah okay so yeah, I just, I love them, and they were easy to get. Okay, so last up, before we actually go on to do the podcast thing, which actually might, the video of the interview thing, which is, will be a bunch of greens. I'm very, I apologise on behalf of everyone. It's just going to be a bunch of greens, I'm very sorry um, for your losses and stuff. But it's just going to be a bunch of green, because it was filmed in a video. Um, actually, I, I might be able to fix that, so don't actually listen to me, because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But just assume the worst, and then everything will get back, better, back in place. The last thing is tote bags. When my mum says I have a lot of tote bags, that is true, but only three of them be musical theatre themed. Um, you may be thinking, why the hell do you need three tote bags? And the answer is you don't need three tote bags, but you do need do tote bags like honestly you do anyway so first up we have the wicked tote bag there you go i'm a very good model guys um it's quite small compared to the other two but it's a tote bag what more can i say and it's really cool because it's just because obviously it's at the apollo victoria so it just has london so it's good it's a good little i really like the design basically is what i'm trying to say and i do like black tote bags because they hide stains very well so if you get it stain on it you're not going to notice but yeah i did use this for a considerable amount of time before realizing it was too small and i was carrying a load of stuff on it but anyway cool bag next up is my six tote bag um yeah it's very big this is the most recent one like no it's not that's not like it was until i got the heavens one um but yeah i really like it it's really cool i'd, I'd like show it off to the the history teachers like i wouldn't show it off but like if they pass on me i'd be like look guys i'm historical you can see me um, but yeah, it's very, it's quite spacious, and I did use it for a considerable amount of time, so, because it was big. Last one is Heather's the Musical. Now, I did get a lot of stairs 
in my all girls school when I was walking around with this tote bag on. I had to hide it from the teachers because I'm in a Catholic school. It was from a musical. Some people like looked at me and was like, what? And then I was like, it's from a musical, guys. I don't have a son and he's not dead and he's not gay. So, um, yeah, I Love My Dicky Son is my favourite song. And it was really cool. And I really like this as well. I like the design of it as well. Believe it or not, I bought it. So I imagine that it would be nice and appealing to me. Don't you think? But anyway. I am going to obviously get more merchandise as I see more shows. Because I'm more and more obsessed with musical theatre. But this has been my musical theatre haul. And you see me run and see me struggle over my words and my ability to show things to people. That's why I never did a show and tell at primary school. No, I did. That's not. That's a lie. But basically, I'm not very good at with my words and with my actions. So you're just gonna have to, you know, live for it and live with it as I fold up my stuff in preparation. So the next thing you will see is my exclusive interview with Small Biz Mus magazine. It was supposed to be really special because it was supposed to be like my guest speaker first podcast guest speaker episode. Um but because she couldn't like voice call or do something with audio she had to do a video and so therefore I couldn't format it. Um, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to format any ones that do do it with audio. But the best way to do it is if you have the Anchor app. So if you want to be included in my podcast as a guest speaker uh, and actually work, um, DM me on Instagram. You can either do that in my small business one or you can do it on my Adventures of Arlo one, which would make more sense probably, but it doesn't matter either one because I'm still available. So DM me. And then we can arrange it, and then you can be the first person to be on my podcast with it. And Small Boys Bosses Magazine can be the first one to do it on YouTube. So, really, there's nothing wrong with it. This has already been a 33 minute long thing. For something that could have taken 10 minutes if I didn't speak so much and still am speaking so much. But anyway, this next clip is going to be an interview um, that I had with Small Biz Buzz Magazine. Actually, before we do it, because it's all compiled into one video i should probably tell you the questions that i asked her because they're all they you'll be self-explanatory basically when you hear her answers um but i'm just going to show you a world shining shivering splendid is it here i'm so confused yeah it is okay so these are the questions i asked them they're not in order i don't think i don't think i was organized but these are just the uh, the questions I asked her. So, what's your account name? Tell us about yourself. How, what, why did you decide to make this account? How many followers do you have? What is your magazine about? Who is your target audience? What are some of the things you cover on your magazine? What is something you hope to happen to the future, in the future for your account and your magazine? What's the most rewarding part of having a magazine slash account? What's the most difficult part of having a magazine? Who inspires you? Who do you admire within the online community? What is something you would say to people setting up a magazine or small business? Uh, who are some of your... Oh, sorry. What's something you knew, wish you knew before you started? Who are some of your favourite businesses? What's your favourite part of your magazine? What do you like to do when you're not entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial and making a magazine? Would you recommend setting up a magazine or an, even any type of media like a uh, podcast, blog, etc.? Is there anything you should like to say about your magazine account or yourself? And that was the last question, and I made it seem like there was something else. Uh, but yeah, those are all the questions I asked. So if you do like a little treasure hunt for all of the, the clips, see if I put them in the right order. Um, I can probably tell you if I put them in the right order. Hoping that the next person I interview is a small business because I actually do have um, one specifically for a small business, um, which was basically based on this one. But, you know, if you'd like to get involved in that, please do. But now let's watch the interview or listen to it. Either way, you'll find out. 
all aware that I'm a bit stupid. So, um, yes, I said the next clip you'd be seeing was the interview with Small Biz Butts, and that is strictly untrue now, since I literally forgot a whole entire section of my musical theatre hall. This will only take a minute, and then we can stop being stupid and realise my mistake. Um, but yeah, the last thing is paper. <laughs> so here we got the all of these are from um Hanley Broadway. The sun is not being very kind. It's in my face. But here's the sixth thing I got. It's it's really cool. I love everything from small I love everything from small businesses, but Hanley Broadway just really does it for me. Um yes, and then we've got two playbills. We've got the wicked playbill, uh which I absolutely love. Um and then we've got Waitress, which is a, a, a smaller version than there's less, but the Waitress as well. And then we've got a Hamilton little um, bookmark. It had a tassel and then the tassel came undone. But yeah, sorry for my stupidity in that mistake. And so, yeah, let's actually get to the interview now. Hello, my name is Kay and I am the creator and writer of Small Biz Buzz magazine. My magazine includes tips, digital art, interviews, and more. I wanted to start my account to recognize all of the hard work small business owners put into their small business. And a little bit about me is that I'm a teenager and I live in the United States and in my free time, I love doing digital art. So on my other account, I followed a ton of different small businesses and one day I was just scrolling through my feed and I saw a small business asking for aesthetic photos, butter pictures of butterflies, flowers, that kind of stuff. And I like um, t photography and that kind of stuff. So I sent some in and then the person asked me, what do you think I'm doing? So I guess that they were probably making a magazine and they told me I was incorrect. At that time, I was originally going to set up a small business, but I was having a hard time setting up a payment method and that and just a few other things. So I decided that I wanted to still do something that had to do with small businesses. So I decided to start a small business magazine. Currently, when I filmed this video, I had 940 followers, but I am so happy that in the span of two months, I have gotten almost 1,000 followers, and that's just crazy to me. I would have never thought I would get this much support, and I am so excited because I think very soon I'll be hitting 1K. My magazine, I wouldn't say it has like one specific topic. It kind of talks about everything that ranges in small businesses and sometimes I talk about stuff that isn't small business related but my magazine includes interviews that I have with either small businesses or influencers or digital artists and it also includes digital art and photography that people that follow me on Instagram sent in. It also includes a tip section that I wrote that includes like the one week I had information about ambassadors and what they were. Um, I also normally have another piece that includes um little paragraphs that people from my Instagram sent in. Like one week I had people on my Instagram send in some struggles they had as a small business owner. And depending on the week and what I want to talk about that week, I include a few different things and topics in my magazine. Um, I'd probably say my target audience is anyone that either has a small business or is starting a small business because it includes a lot of different tips and informational pieces. But um, I'd also say it's for my account is for digital artists because I include a lot of different digital art on there and tons of different drawings and that kind of stuff. Um, I'd also say probably my target audience is probably teenagers. I'd have to say because 
I don't think there's anyone that follows me that is too, too old. But, um, I'd also say my target audience, um, I guess it could basically be for anyone. I try to make it pretty much for anyone. But, um, like, if you aren't a small business owner, you can still read my magazine. But you might not find it as interesting as someone that owns a small business. One thing I would love to happen to my magazine is to have it actually printed out because I've imagined this. Like, imagine how cool it would be to have a package arrive to your house that is from Small Biz Buzz Magazine Indicate to hold my magazine in your hand. I just think that would be, like, so fun and cool. Um, Another thing in the future I'd like to happen to i don't know if this would be to my account or me but one day i'd love to be able to start my own small business um and also one day i'd love to be able to reach ten thousand followers and maybe um have a place in my magazine where people can buy promotions maybe or something like that i haven't really thought about what's I want to happen in the future since my account is fairly new but those are a few of the things I kind of hope to do with my account one day. I'd probably say the most rewarding part is to get to be able to learn about other small businesses and connect with other small businesses and just being able to in a way I guess kind of connect the community because in my magazine, small businesses get to read interviews I had with other small businesses and learn a little bit more about each other. And I just say it's like super fun to be able to learn about everything. And I think that one day when I start a small business, I'll definitely be able to know a lot of things from this experience because um, I can look back in past magazines I've had and read the tips and tricks people wrote. And I just think that the small business community is so kind and welcoming and having a magazine and this account is just so amazing and a great experience. Probably the most difficult thing for me is time management. I'm definitely not a pro at that. So that's a bit, little bit hard for me and I'd also say another thing I struggle with is some days I don't get my magazine done until the morning of my magazine launch, which is Sunday. So I don't really get it done until Sunday sometimes. And um, even though I know it's okay to take breaks and stuff, there is a little piece in the back of my mind that is kind of worried if I take a break or don't get my magazine out on time that people will be upset so I guess there's also that part too and another really hard thing for me is comparing myself to other digital artists and small businesses and that kind of stuff but with time I learned that tons of different people also have that problem and it is so common and it's totally okay and I've learned to just accept my growth because I've grown so amazing and I'm just so proud of my account um I know I'll forget people when I'm doing this but I'd probably have to say she's shining creations her account is amazing and I love her digital art um big dipper designs she is so amazing and she is so kind and she has helped me so much throughout this journey and her digital art is fantastic and she's kind of like me because we both don't really share our faces. So we both try to experience and gain people's trust through other ways. And probably the last one would be Custom Elite Cards. Their, their account is just so amazing. Amazing digital art. And they are so kind and sweet. Um, And someone not really in the small business community but a celebrity would probably be Millie Bobby Brown because um I just love her and I think it's so amazing that she has an acting career and on top of that she also manages her 
business, which is Florence by Mills, and I just think she is so amazing. What I'd probably say is a few different things. Number one, do not steal other people's content and posts and ideas because that is not good and most likely it will end in somebody being very mad at you. Um, I'd also say that it is okay to not get orders. Some people go weeks without orders. Some people go months without orders and that's totally okay. I'd also probably say that no matter what other people say, your business is amazing, and in the end, all that matters is that you are confident in your small business or your magazine, and I'd also say to just go for it. Um, You won't know if you are going to fail or succeed until you try it, and if your business doesn't do good, that's totally okay. That doesn't mean that you did something wrong. It might just mean that you couldn't find your target audience and people who like your products, which is totally okay. So I'd probably just say that everything will eventually get better. I wish I knew that it is totally okay if a lot of people don't read my magazine. And I wish I also knew that um reels were kind of hard to make because when I first started my magazine account, um was super hard for me to make reels because I don't show my face so it was kind of hard but um after a little bit while well, I started scrolling through reels more I started to find more sounds and more things I liked and wanted to do so I'd say another hard thing that I didn't know which I guess it isn't really hard but um is that the small business community is so sweet and so supportive of each other and it is just so fun to be able to be a part of this community. I know right now that I am for sure going to forget people, but probably a few of my favorites are Penny My Heart, Rustic Faith Co., Big Dipper Designs, Custom Elite Cards, Resin by Millie, she's been so sweet and supportive of me. And I'd probably also say Shay's Shining Creations and um, Midnight Blue Co. with the Sassy Southern Shop. And I'm trying to think if there are any others. Oh, Callie and Co. And those are just a few of my favorites. I, to be honest, love every small business in the small business community those are just the ones that came to my head first and i know i'm going to forget people so if i forgot you i am so sorry <laughs> my favorite part of my magazine is getting to learn more about small businesses and small business owners and kind of connecting the community um another thing i love is being able to share my digital art and to share my um writing and share what i do because if i didn't have this account i probably would just be making digital art for fun and i love being able to share my art ability with others through collabs and making other people logos or art for their page and um another thing i really love about having a magazine is being able to recognize all of the hard work small businesses put into their business and how amazing small businesses are um since it's summer definitely one of my favorite things is swimming and most likely if i'm not on instagram the probability of me being in the pool is very high another thing i love doing is just kind of chilling and drawing and doing digital art while listening to Spotify. That's for sure one of my favorites. Um, I also really enjoy spending time with my family and going to different markets and that kind of stuff. And I love just kind of chilling and watching a movie or just taking a little bit of time to myself. I would say definitely if that is what you want to do then for sure set one up it is so fun and rewarding and it is so exciting and i love being able to connect with others but i think you should just do whatever you want to do if you want to start a small business do that if you want to start a blog or podcast or magazine or something like that do that no matter what you most likely will not fail, and no matter what you do, it will be absolutely amazing. 
probably the last thing I want to say is to thank everyone that has helped me at all throughout this journey. Even if you've just liked one of my posts, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. When I started my magazine, I did not think I would get this much support. And I just am so thankful for everyone who has even just went through my stories once so that was the interview i had with small biz buzz magazine i really hope you guys enjoyed listening to what she had to say about her magazine and her account and who she is as a person i hope you learned a little bit more about it having heard it if you would like to be or if you'd like to be in a video if you'd like to have yourself on at, featured on my podcast um dm me um with the instagram accounts that will be linked down in my website as always go check out uh small biz buzz magazines magazine if you haven't already her um website will also be linked down below funnily enough um and yeah so yeah that was that if you'd like to get involved please do dm me as i said before i'm really not good with the words um, but yeah, I hope you all have an amazing, amazing week slash day slash summer slash winter. I don't know where you are in the world, guys, but I hope you have a good time. And yeah, um, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next video for a more wacky video. And yeah, bye. Bye.